Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of me showing you all the new vegan foods that I got to try this month. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and I tried a few pretty interesting things this month, including lint chocolate. Yes, lint like the master chocolatier. They came out with oat milk chocolate bars that I actually got a month ago if you're on my Instagram, but it didn't make it into the last video, my bad. I don't have much else to say. The video is pretty self-explanatory. If you're new here, I basically just like show you guys all the new foods that I got to try this month and I let you know if it's worth getting or not. So uh, buckle in and let's get it started. Hey guys, we're back at work and I'm trying another instant meal. Um, my, our friend, well, Berto and I's friend Sabrina actually gave this to us because she couldn't eat it. But then I was like, this would be great for a taste test, and also it would be great for work when I don't have time to meal prep. So we're trying this out. It's from Wicked. It says Punchin Potatoes and Beans Chili Mac. Punchin, oh, Punchin Potatoes and Beans Chili Mac. Not suitable for microwave cooking. But like, what if I do make it in the microwave anyway? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and it'll come back. I should have, okay, so the instructions to make this is to put in boiling water and then wait five minutes, but no. Like, I remember making one of these before, a different flavor, a different time. It takes so much longer to cook than it actually says. So I put it in boiling water, I waited five minutes, and then it was not even a little bit cooked. So then I put it in the microwave for like a minute, and then I let it sit for like another five minutes, and now it's cooked. So it takes a lot longer to cook than it says, but it looks chilly, mac with corn and I don't know what this is. Oh, I think this is the potato. Okay, the potato is crunchy. Oh, the bean's still crunchy. Putting more boiling water in it. All right, it's been a few more minutes. It's cooked. It's not that good. <laughs> it's a lot of work for disappointment. It's just, okay. Do you ever eat like a tomato based or chili based thing sometimes that feels like all you taste is tomato? It's not well rounded. Does that make sense? It just tastes like tomato sauce with like pasta and stuff in it. And it's not even seasoned very well. I'm not a fan. Ugh. Yeah. Not good. Okay, so we're trying something because I'm feeling snacky and I want to eat it, but there's a hair on my camera. But we can't eat it until I taste test it. So here's a taste test, my friends. All right, so this, okay, from what I could tell, they're like potato puffs, but they're dinosaur shaped. And I really hope that the dinosaur shape is strong. Like, I, I hope it's a good, okay, okay. <laughs> It tastes like nothing with a little bit of salt. Like this would taste good with soup. What do you think, babe? You should call these barelies. <laughs> you should make bare ones and call them barelies because they barely have a flavor. To but wait, the more you eat, the more kind of, oh, it's so cute. The more addicting they get. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? It has a texture of Pirate's Booty. Um, so if these were like cheese flavored, it would be exactly Pirate's Booty except dinosaur shapes. These are growing on me. The texture is really amazing. It's a really good texture. I wish it tasted more like something though. These would be great cheese flavored. Mmm. I love good textures and this texture is phenomenal. While it does taste like almost nothing, the texture is so good that I still would probably eat it. That is all. Goodbye. Hey loves. Okay, so in each review month, uh, there's some highlights for me. Things I'm more excited to try than other things. And today is one of those things. I'm excited to try Bonza's latest vegan mac and cheese. It is white cheddar. Now let me tell you. I'm a huge fan of Bonza in general. Their vegan pizza they do is so freaking good. But one of the worst vegan mac and cheeses I've ever had was the Bonza other flavor one. Like, it's so bad I couldn't even finish it. So I'm very nervous about trying their new one. I, I made it. It's in the pot because why get another dish dirty? 
oh yeah it looks like this douche right it looks it also smells fine it smells much better than the other one um this one's actually pretty interesting because they say that the cheese is made of like parsnips anyway it's also gluten-free and has 12 grams of protein i do have high hopes because i've had two friends try it so far and say that it's good so cheers It tastes like eating the dust off of those white cheddar pirate booties. Yeah, so it still has a like slight sourness that I hated in the other shells, but it's like a different kind of sourness in this, so it's not bad. Is someone gardening? Okay, as I eat a little more, I'm getting a little bit more annoyed with the sourness, but it's still not as bad as the other one. The other one was so terribly awful like and this is coming from someone who likes bonza i like bonza i like almost everything they do but the other mac and cheese they did was inedible yeah this one tastes like like white cheddar popcorn or like has a tang to it but like i don't mind it in the white cheddar i would eat this mm. those are my thoughts i'm tired i'm probably gonna nap after this but um, I got a package in the mail and I figured why not try it out together. I got grain free pretzels in a few different flavors. I have sea salt. Oh yeah, it's um, Savor by Susie is the brand. They're allergen friendly. So we have sea salt. We have a little bit spicy. We have roasted garlic and herb. I'm a fan of, of garlicky stuff. We do have chocolate, which I'm obviously a fan of, and another chocolate. So I figured we could try a couple of these together. Uh, I don't want to open all of them because then they might go to sale. I'm not going to finish them in time. But let's try the ones I'm most excited about, which is chocolate and garlic. Those are very opposing flavors. I'm not quite sure like which one I should taint my palate with first. Maybe, I guess, savory then sweet is usually the way to go but hopefully my mouth won't taste like garlic while I'm trying to eat the chocolate one. So the ingredients are, like the main ingredients to make up the pretzel instead of flour, are cassava, potato, fava bean protein, tapioca, flax. So I think that's what's making up the dough. They look like normal pretzels, and honestly, at least this flavor smells pretty good. Whatever, it looks like a pret- I'm not gonna- This flavor at least tastes a bit like Chex Mix. It's a little harder than a regular pretzel. But other than it being like a slightly different texture, it's really good. If I couldn't have gluten or grains, I'd be all over this. I would even buy this as someone who could have regular pretzels. It's just as good. It's just a little bit harder. Let's do this one. The chocolate. Oh, the chocolate smell is really strong. It's dark chocolate, so it's not like really sweet. It's slightly bitter. But if you would have told me these were regular dark chocolate coated pretzels, like I would believe you. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. It doesn't taste different than a regular pretzel great look into this if you're gluten free hi okay so um this i haven't you know i had this like month a few years ago or a year ago where i tried so many yogurts i got so sick of trying yogurts but you have you know what i haven't tried in a long time a yogurt and especially you know i haven't had since i've been vegan is a greek yogurt so when i saw this kite hill Greek yogurt at Whole Foods, I really wanted to try it, even though it's not new. Like, I think it's been out for a minute, but it's my first time seeing it, so I really wanted to try it. So we're gonna try plain, unsweetened Kite Hill Greek yogurt. There's a vanilla one too, but I don't know, I just wanted the most basic version. And there's 17 grams of pro plant protein per serving. 17 grams of protein per 140 calorie serving, that's crazy. Now, when I posted this on my story, there was a lot of mixed reviews. There was a few people who said they really liked it, and then there was 
like a few people who said it tasted awful. So we're about to find out. It looks like yogurt. It doesn't look as thick as Greek yogurt usually did. It doesn't look as like white as Greek yogurt usually did, but cheers. I see what some people mean by like a little bit grainy, but that's pretty, that's pretty Greek yogurty to me, honestly. No, this tastes like Greek yogurt. It's like tart, but like Greek yogurt is tart. I wish it was a little thicker. I feel like the middle is kind of thicker, but like the side is too soft. So I wish it was more dense kind of, but I'll eat this with fruit and a drizzle of agave. This is great and there's so much protein in it. This is crazy. The base is almond and soy. Kosher, gluten-free, non-GMO. Zero grams of sugar. I like it. Thumbs up for me. But also like when I used to do like, you know, gym, big gym stuff, I used to eat a lot of Greek yogurt. So I was a huge fan of Greek yogurt. Um, so I like this kind of like tart, the tart taste, you know? I like it. Update, now that I've eaten more, it does have a slightly funny aftertaste. It has a slightly interesting aftertaste. But also I've heard a lot of good things about the silk Greek yogurt. So that's the one I'm going to look for next. I'd still eat this. And I think even the aftertaste would grow on me. But I can see why some people don't like it now. I understand. Hey guys. So alright. I'm so late to this. I'm so late to this. But I finally got the Miyoko's liquid mozzarella. This came out months ago, like many months ago, but I don't know. It just, I hadn't had the chance to go to Orchard Grocer and none of the regular grocery stores near me was carrying it. So here it is. I finally got it. I put it on a flatbread with some tomato sauce. I think I put on too little, but here's some footage of me pouring it on and how it looked like before I put it in the oven and how it looked like after 10 minutes. Again, I think I put on a little too little, but the person I ordered a grocer told me that I have to put a thin layer, so I guess I got scared of putting too much. I'm really hungry. It smelled really good baking, so we're just gonna give it a try. Oh, and the ingredients are mainly cashew milk, sunflower oil, tapioca starch, sea salt, mushroom extract. I mean, it seems pretty great, but hopefully it also tastes good. Here's a piece of the flatbread that I made with it, and Ragu old world style tomato sauce, which is my favorite kind. I wish I had vegetables or something, but I'm coming out of a depressive episode. No, let's be real. I'm still in a depre <laughs> depressive episode and I haven't bought fresh produce in a minute. So this is going to be lunch. Okay. You know, I wish I put more. It tastes pretty good, honestly. When I cut it, there was like a little bit of a stretch. I'm not really curious about it for stretch reasons. I think with some veggies and some olives and more cheese, this would be great like homemade nighttime pizza stuff, you know? I don't know how much it is in regular grocery stores, but in Orchard Grocer, it's really expensive. This was $9. But, I, but Orchard Grocer is like usually more expensive than other stores. So it's probably cheaper in other places. So let me know how much it is if you've seen it in like, I don't know, a Kroger or whatever normal grocery store you find it in. This is probably one of the more fun vegan cheeses I've had in a minute. Let me tell you about some other cheese I've been liking lately. I'm not gonna do a taste test, but this cheese by Good Planet Foods, pretty good. It has that like sharpness, you know? And some vegan cheeses hurt my stomach. This does not. Good Planet Cheddar. Real smoked cheddar. Yeah, this is good. I like it. All right, see you guys. Okay, so this little impromptu review clip is not worth the awesomeness of the thing I'm about to show you right now, but it's the best I'm gonna do because I've been putting off reviewing this for a while and I'm just gonna get it over with. Also, it's not a real review because I've already eaten like four bars of this stuff because it's really good. Um, for those of you who don't know, Lint has vegan chocolate now, you know, like Lint chocolate, like, you know, those fancy chocolate balls your mom used to get for like holidays. I mean, she still might be getting them. You never know. 
yeah, that brand, they now do chocolate with oat milk. Now they don't have like those balls, but they have the bars and I got so excited when I saw that this existed that the moment I landed, like I, I was on a plane when I found out this existed. The moment I landed, as I was like deplaning, I was on the website trying to order it. So if you want to get it, it's on the website. It's also really good. So I will open it and show it to you in a minute. Can you open this, babe? Um, oh, there's two flavors. So there's salted caramel, which has like little shards of caramel in it. And then there's like regular milk chocolate. Now I also heard there's a third flavor, but it's not available in the US, so I wasn't able to get it. So we're, we're just gonna have to try the two flavors that are available to us. It looks like this. And, okay, I'm about to do something I never did before. I've never, have you ever bitten a chocolate bar, babe? Like, like they do it in like American movies. I've never in my life bitten a chocolate bar, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live my child in an American movie dream and bite this chocolate bar right now. It has that like overly creaminess that Lint has. You know how like Lint is, it's like a little too creamy. It's like that, but it's good. You know, it's like a very nostalgic chocolate taste. Anyway, just so you know, this exists. So if you're waiting for them to come out with a vegan version, it's happened. All that needs to happen now is for Twix to have a vegan option. I'm living. I can't wait until Twix has a vegan version. But yeah, it is really good. I like it. And also the caramel one is good too. That's all. Bye. Okay, so this protein powder I got in recently. It's, wait, it's from like a faraway country. Ireland. It's from Ireland, okay? It's called Earth Chimp. This is the chocolate flavor. It has probiotics in it. And I think it's organic. Yup, it's organic. Organic vegan protein shake mix. It's 120 calories for 20 grams of protein. And it looks like the protein source is pea, pumpkin, sunflower, coconut. Anyway, let's just make it up and see if it's yummy. I've opened the bag and it both looks and smells like protein powder. Oh, there's a scoop. Oh, the scoop is, is accessible. Kind of. I mean, I still probably gonna get protein underneath my nail. Also, don't look behind me. That's where we keep our recycling. Oh wait, how many? What's a serving? Two scoops, 35 grams. Okay. Well, I was gonna say I'm gonna use almond milk, but I don't know how much is actually in here. It's pretty empty. Which, by the way, ever since I've realized we can get almond milk in this size containers, that is all I've been getting. All right, that makes a cup. One scoop. If it'll get out, two scoops. That makes pretty well. It's not very clumpy. Actually, I don't think it is clumpy, but we'll find out now. It smells like protein shake. Yeah, tastes pretty good, actually. It smells more like protein than it tastes. The flavor is really mild. It's not really chocolatey has a little bit of sweetener aftertaste. But honestly, I probably wouldn't drink this alone. I'd probably put like bananas and peanut butter and shit in it. And I don't think the protein taste would be too overwhelming or the sweetener taste. I like it as far as protein goes. That is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Do you agree with my ratings? If not, please tell me why. Is there anything specific that I should look for for next month? Also, tell me like in the comment section. I'm looking for the mini Baybel cheeses. I know they're out. I know that people have been finding them in Costco's and Whole Foods. Actually, maybe I'll try to find it today. Like today my time, not today your time. I'm sorry. but. That is like what's on the top of my list to find right now. So if you tried it already, let me know how it is. I've heard such mixed reviews. Uh, but that's it. That's all I have for today. Really enjoyed the video. I already said that part. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, up on my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye.
shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, and Trudy. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!